Hi guys. Tan, how are you? Anna, you there? You're on mute. Yes, I'm doing good, sir. How are you doing? Good. So, Tanha, any questions for your upcoming interview? Yes, sir. Uh, what module should I go over again? So, as this is an safety associate role, uh, please go over workflow module, case assessments, all three case assessments, seriousness, expectedness, causality, along with uh, reporting timelines, because you need to know the submission timelines as well. These are the uh, these are some of the core modules that you need to focus on more for any safety associate uh, positions and you should be able to summarize them very nicely in the interview. Any other thing that you need help with? Yes, sir. Uh, if you can explain SAE reconciliation. So as, uh, as we described in our module SAE reconciliation, the process is very straightforward. You will retrieve the output of the clinical data from the clinical database and the safety database. Uh, and you would have Excel sheets for both the outputs and you will manually cross check the SAE data like the event uh, onset date, event outcome, action taken, all the event particulars. There are eight to nine event particulars along with seriousness criteria, uh, event coded. And you would make sure they kind of uh, sync with each other. And if there is any discrepancy, you would uh, take it up with your clinical counterparts, like the clinical operations team, to kind of uh, resolve the issue either in the clinical database. And if it is in the safety database, you would resolve it because you represent the safety team. Okay. Um, so again, guy, um, as I said, uh, this interview should be very straightforward. And uh, this is your first interview. So just to do the best you can in answering all the questions from the job description. My perspective on this job description is the interview will be very straightforward and you should prepare yourself uh, from the workflow module so that you can answer the process related questions much easier. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Kranti, any questions from you? Hi, Abhishek. Yes, I have a few questions um, from my job description. Uh, one is, how should I prepare for vendor management? So for vendor management, we have a module on vendor management, but in the interview, they ask you, how did you manage vendors? You can say we had constant communications over emails with our vendors, clinical and safety vendors, I mean, mostly safety vendors. And we used to monitor their uh, performance by quality metrics and performance metrics, uh, I mean, sorry, uh, quality metrics and compliance metrics. As, as you know, safety wants to be compliant 100%. So we want our vendors to be compliant with all submission timelines. So we would like to see if there is any late cases, why they were late, run CAPA if needed, uh, and retrain the vendors if needed based on the CAPA investigation. And based on the quality of cases, if there are any critical errors or major errors, we would have a call with them every uh, monthly at least to twice to uh, to oversee any quality issues that are coming up and we would uh, do a performance evaluation based on these two metrics uh, quality metrics and compliance metrics so that's pretty much vendor management got it yeah um, I have another question um, this one is about SOPs um, if I get a question about SOPs um, how to uh, answer that kind of a question like do you have any experience writing or assisting SOP? Yeah. So SOPs or working instructions are not actually written by safety. Uh, medical writers uh, do assist us in writing this, uh, drafting this uh, uh, SOPs but from a safety standpoint you would give your, uh, uh, you will review SOPs based on your uh, regulatory timelines. So most of the companies will have SOPs sometimes uh, uh, most of the times it will have SOPs and uh, they may want you to check the uh, uh, SOPs from a regulatory timeline standpoint. So your answer should be very straightforward. You are drafting SOPs based on regulatory timelines, basically saying in the SOP who is doing what when based on your uh, based on a workflow module and submission module. So you are not writing an SOP from scratch you're drafting an SOP based on regulatory timelines. Got it, understand. Thank you very much, Abhishek. All right, guys. Um, so even any questions you may have after this, uh, uh, feel free to uh, email students at Mediform Solutions so that it, it can be addressed before your interview. 
uh, in a timely fashion, but I wish you the luck. Thank you guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye.